This is going to be a review on the Casa Plato case. Stick around if you want to find out more because this fits Intel NUC computers. This um, Acasa Plato case fits not Core i5 um, boards, which are 5th generation, and it also fits 5th generation Core i3 boards. So, you can see that this case is like quite big. It, this bit here is really refined metal to dissipate heat for when uh, the little board is placed in here. It's just a little square, and then obviously you have your RAM put in there as well. But I haven't got one of these on hand. But what I'm going to talk about, since so it's only a case review, and I've used the Casa cases quite often and they're really cool. This feels very solid and very heavy indeed, uh, but it will look good in any room and stuff. But let's talk about what the features that you get with the case. So you get LED light, which is like a tube that actually glows inside from the motherboard, and it glows here to say that there's activity going on. You get two USB 3s, which is up to 5 gigabits per second. You get an indicator for hard disk um, activity. Um, if you're going to put like a, um, a 2.5 inch drive in there, or you're going to put a mechanical hard drive in there, and then you've got one for obviously power on, and then you've got the power on and off, and reset button, and then what else we've got? Is that 3.5mm jack for audio, which is here, and this just plugs in into the board as well. And we've got on the top of here, um, this connects to the board so we can have power and stuff. And then you've got two USB 3 cables that are in there. And I think I have got an M extender that goes into this board. And then on the back, you've got um, another two USBs that will be there, then a mini display port, another mini display port, and probably HDMI will go there, and another output, and then a Keseton lock, and then you've got some rubber uh, grommets on the back there. Obviously there's a grills there where it dis dissipates heat. The amount of stuff they give you is ridiculous. I've got these four um, stands here. This stands on the bottom end of the actual case. So you screw them down. It comes with all the bits that you can ever think of. It even comes with a new fascia. <clears throat> so depending on if you're using Core i3 or Core i5, you'll have a different fascia that have the fittings for the knock. Um, it's got a nice brush aluminium plate that covers over the top which will keep it nice and cool obviously it will heat up but it will dissipate heat very well because um, it's only that square part of the actual computer here that makes the most sense and then obviously dissipating heat makes more sense so it doesn't throttle under uh, the heat but they also include thermal pads um, which are here and they give you loads and it's good quality stuff there thermal grease, they give you loads of screws and stuff to put in the, the case, some extensions, uh, These are this is a SATA cable and it's just a mini cable with obviously a SATA connector so you can connect up um, your, your 2.5 inch drive, um, everything to put everything together, two metal rods or sticks. I think this is actually for, well, this is VGA, so you can have um, normal VGA graphics. If you haven't got um, HDMI or mini display port, you can add that in there as well. And I'm guessing you can put that on the back. That's no, too big for that. So you'd have to use a different fascia for that one to get it on the back. Um, just more stuff to actually put it all together. And I don't know what that is. I think that is, oh yes, yeah, so that's some, washers for the actual case itself and then you get loads of stuff to put down and it's just crazy like how much stuff is here so these bits um just so you know what these are these are uh, vase mounts and they go into the back of uh, any sort of screen 
and you can plug, well, you can screw in your actual PC on the back and hide it, so it just looks like an all-in-one PC. And this metal bit here is to go on the M.2 slot, which will be on the motherboard, and yeah, you can put an M.2 slot on this computer and have it super fast, and run up to 16 gigs of uh, RAM. So you can have quite a fast computer. It's just really stylish, really just cool looking. It's solid as anything, it weighs about nearly three kilos so that's how heavy that I'm saying this is but it's really solid really durable and it's good for HD, uh, HTPC so if you've got that in the living room you can just have it in there and just forget about it and you can also use it as an infrared with remote control and control the PC that way so if you like this video throw us a like and if you didn't like it dislike it but leave a comment let me know what you thought about it and I'll see you in the next one thanks for watching